but I think it's really important for art, artists uh, and art awards to reach out to the larger community. It's also a larger part of the social structure of, of you know, the culture that supports their arts is a, a growing and uh, uh, mutable kind of community. I think it's a, a chance to kind of gauge the nature of uh, art practice in a more general sense across the nation. It gives us an opportunity to uh, focus on up and coming artists, artists uh, who deserve some notoriety in the art world. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to, uh, for artists to challenge themselves to produce work that they feel can stand with or stand against other practices uh, from you know, other artists. Aisha Green's painting, Nana's Birthday, A Big Breath, is quite striking. Dealing with something as simple but as deep and complex as Whakapapa. Uh, her idea of the infinity of Whakapapa stru struck me in the, uh, as being enormously important. Uh, a kind of red thread of uh, DNA that stretches back through time and moves through time forward. Uh, Aisha's painting held all of these very deep and complex uh, philosophies and um, themes uh, in, in a very deft and light touch. Uh, so the work seems to be, at first it seems, okay, it's just a, a nana and kids blowing out a birthday cake, but it's so much more than that. And it continues to just grow and grow and grow in its complexity. The candles too, they're, they're not snuffed out, they're lit. So it's at a kind of critical time where the breath has reached and the flames and is uh, moving through the flames but hasn't uh, snuffed them. Um, more associations will uh, appear in your mind as you're looking at it. Uh, it's very hard to lose concentration in the work. I mean, it really does draw you in, holds your mind allows you to experience your own uh, family affiliations and your own memories of family. Uh, this work's one of the most effective uh, artworks that I've ever seen at uh, drawing uh, such an important um, whānau kind of connection and uh, intergenerational connection. Something that uh, is universally understood. He tohu tonu spoke to me very strongly. Um, it had a strong visualisation uh, for me for flags used traditionally uh, in post-colonial Māori uh, lifeways. I loved the strength of the statement. I loved the idea of the artist uh, speaking uh, so strongly. Uh, it's not a supplication, it's a command to be seen and to be heard. Um, I imagined the flags flying above the marae, above the land, uh, above the whenua. Uh, I love the, uh, the kind of the badge or the emblazoned nature of the language, um, the large eye which is capturing us and uh, not staring us down but rather putting us in a place where we have to respond. The attention to detail was important to me, but it, it was never finicky. It was never like uh, in, it really embroidered in that sense or uh, made to feel like it was less than um, a political statement, a very strong political statement. Kathy's produced a uh, fantastic uh, and unusual uh, work called Shame, which investigates the nature of the bouquet. Uh, she's in really interrogating it, kind of you fall into the work. It has that same kind of endless quality that I think many of the, the winning works share, uh, where you can fall into associations uh, very uh, 
very quickly and you're carried along uh, in her work to a kind of place where uh, flowers um, aren't usually understood to be blooming. Uh, so the work has a, a certain deathly elegance to it, uh, a certain pull uh, into the centre of the work, uh, a kind of swirling miasma of uh, fragrance, but the fragrance is, for me at least, fetid rather than beautiful. They're like creatures kind of reaching out to you and they're not the kind of creatures that you really want in your house. Um, that kind of sense of uh, humans using the neutrality and naivety of the flower to their own ends, uh, I think that's really striking. Matthew Brown's painting, uh, he understands it as making the invisible visible. Uh, for me, his work's a bit like a two-way mirror where he stands uh, in his intuitive state with the confidence he has about his unconscious mind working as a painter. And then on the other side of the two-way mirror is the viewer uh, reaching into the painting, being welcomed into the painting uh, to find their own associations, work with their own memories work with their own intuition to stimulate or arouse um, unco the unconscious in a way that might bring rise to certain uh, feelings, dreams, ideas. Uh, I think that his work is, it has a certain magnetism and a certain kind of gravity to it, um, brought by the, uh, the tension of the forms and the formlessness that he engages on the surface of his paintings. Brilliantly executed, uh, endlessly interesting. Uh, once again, a work that's very hard to uh, unravel or to become tired of. A work that keeps on giving and uh, revealing.